What's going on, everybody? This is JVB from TalkingAboutGames.com and the Post Game Report Podcast. I'm here with the iPhone 6 Plus and Galaxy Note 3. I'm giving up the Galaxy Note 3 to go back to Apple. I left Apple because I was kind of bored of its UI and the fact that I had a 4-inch phone. And after a while, it was just pretty bland. It was a bland experience. I went with Android and specifically the original Note because it was enormous and it was different and it was a powerhouse when it came to specs and it was well, when looking at user feedback and user reviews there was a lot of customiz customization and I was hacking the crap out of my original Note uh, so much so that I burned the motherboard because I was overclocking it all the time but that experience was fun so I stood with Note platform and this is the Note 3 the Note 4 comes out next month and it's going to be once again a freaking animal with like quad core or not even quad core but quad HD screen compared to 1080p um, I'm not gonna do like a spec war or spec or, or compare specs or speed between the two phones you can see that I mean there are thousands of videos now but I want to give my experiences between both platforms because with the iPhone, just like a Mac, and you can see that I have an iMac, the iMac or the Mac, any Apple product is known to be a closed platform. Everyone says you can't catch a virus and blah, blah, blah. That's because it's a closed platform. So, for example, with an Android, I can side load applications that aren't available in the store. Or I can download more of a PC uh, type of application I don't know if that makes sense but the best way to compare it is PC and Mac which basically that's what it is uh, as far as the user experience is concerned when trying to just compare everyday life uh, here I am getting a notification uh, I tell you what 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 Apple has done with the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus is really impressive. The screen on the Plus is beautiful. So is the Note 3. Operation is seamless. I mean, it is really smooth. And yes, some people mock me because I'm going supposedly into older technology. But once again, I'm an Android user. My wife might get the Note 4. So we'll see if she does. And I still strongly believe in Android. Uh, even though I'm tied to both ecosystems, I am more in tune, no pun intended, with Apple's iTunes and iCloud. I use, as I stated, I have a Mac Mini. I have, I bought the original iPad. No, I don't have an, a Mac Mini. I have the iPad Mini. I bought the original iPad when it first came out. I had the original iPhone, and I have an iMac, and I love it. I love the platform, period. And that is one thing that, hold on a second. And that is one thing that when I left the Apple experience, or, or the Apple phone platform, the iPhone, that was one thing I was missing, because with, because there are so many Android phones, for example, an update. When a new update comes out for Android, such as KitKat or Jelly Bean, it, the, it is dependent on the freaking carrier to put that update out there. With iPhone, as soon as there's a new update, it is going everywhere. Simultaneous. Uh, excuse me, there's a simultaneous... Uh, taint, ah, I, I'm so tongued up. <laughs> Tongue tied. I'm tongue tied right now. So there's a simultaneous release for every iPhone owner. So, and, and, and if you have gone through that experience, you are fully aware how treacherous that can be when everyone is trying to upload or download these updates at once. But it is more treacherous to wait months uh, for a freaking update when everybody else has it. So that sucks. Plain and simple, no way around it. With Apple, 
You get the update the same time everyone everyone else gets it, and that is a beautiful thing. I can, you know, there's so many cloud-based applications now that iCloud really isn't nothing new, but the fact that when I take a picture here, I could put it into my iMac automatically from whatever location I'm in, that is really great. And even though I got the 16 gigabyte version, and believe me, I kind of regret that, but I have so many cloud storage options, and once again, iCloud can save all my videos and pictures. It, it be, it's still a big deal, but it's not a dire situation for me. What I love about the iPhone platform is the integration with podcasts and the the picture taking quality is top notch even though the note 3 has a better cam well tech wise has a better camera when it comes to uh, megapixels and all that the iphone 6 plus takes amazing pictures much better than what i used to take with the note 3 and i thought the note 3 took great pictures so i'm really impressed with the camera and that is one of the reasons why i went back to iPhone. The second being the 5.5 inch screen. This is a 5.7 inch screen on the Note 3, but the iPhone 6 Plus is taller. And so the the adjustment, even though I've had this for a full day, the adjustment is it, taking a little longer than I thought. And and an adjustment I mean by you know putting it in my pocket, using it at work. Uh, there goes the battery. I've been using the the phone since 5 a.m. It is now 5 uh 7:55 p.m. and I still have battery left. So that is really impressive. Overall, I am truly enjoying what I have with the iPhone 6 Plus. I will miss some of the features that I grew accustomed to with the Note 3. There goes an image I took. I did a little editing there and stuff like that. But I'm going to miss the multitasking ability that's on the Note 3, which it does pretty seamlessly. The Note 4 is going to, like, the Note 4 is going to upgrade on, on that capability, and that's going to be awesome. I'm going to miss the the pen. The, the Note, uh, of course, is well known for the pen and I know it's called something else I always freaking forget the damn name it's a glorified stylus but nonetheless I've dropped this phone with the case I have protective glass on top I've dropped the phone and the pen never came off so that is that is a sign of forward thinking and good engineering and design so the Note 3 and especially the Note 4, true beast in every sense of the word when it comes to specs, screen, pixels, and camera, you know, picks everything when it comes to numbers and the sheer power. Uh, Android usually beats out the iPhone platform. Uh, the Note 3 has 3 gigabytes of onboard memory, the 6 Plus has 1 gigabyte. So that that might seem like, oh my God, you know, this phone is slow and, 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 and pales in comparison to the Note 3. On paper, yes, but in performance, it's, as I stated, smooth. Extremely smooth, quick. And that's because Apple, when they design their phones, all the software is maximized, is, is optimized, maximized, whatever kind of eyes you want to use. It is built around the hardware and vice versa. Whereas Android, because there are so many different types of Android phones, you can have a phone with three gigabytes of onboard memory running KitKat, and then you can have a phone with one gigabyte of onboard memory running KitKat, and they're gonna, they're gonna run it very differently. And that's the problem. So you get more unification with the Apple product, of course, because they make their own product. And with Samsung, you get some bloatware. AT&T throws in their bloatware. 
So you have things running in the background, eating up your memory, eating up battery power. So there's more control with Apple's products. And for now, that's what I'm enjoying a little more. And of course the ecosystem and the camera. I take a lot of pictures and videos as you guys can tell. So that was a big selling point as well as the screen. But my wife, she might get the Note 4. So I'm sure I'm gonna mess with that. I'm really intrigued by what they have to offer. And the Note 4 is gonna be a kick-ass machine. Now I have a speaking case on the Plus and I have a screen protector that does not cover the entire screen as you can see right there. Uh, I, I fixed elevators so I need it. And I love this finger, uh, this fingerprint scanner. That's pretty dope. When I want to do a purchase, it tells me to put in my fingerprint to confirm that purchase. So that's extra protection. But anyway, that's my initial thoughts. I'm sure I'll maybe do another review with when the Note 4 comes out. Well, when it does, and if my wife gets it, I'm definitely doing a review or comparison between the Plus, the 3, and the Note 4. Um, as I stated, that's going to be a great phone, especially with the added build quality. Uh, they added some metal around the frame, Samsung that is. So there's going to be a real battle of the big phones when the Note 4 comes out. So until next time, I'm JBB. I'll talk to you soon.